Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft is busy rolling out the next major upgrade to the Power Toys Utility app, which is available for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the latest version now is 0.70.0 and was made available just a couple of hours ago. Now, um, this is an important update because it does include um, two brand new utilities. So, it seems now, once again, that the list of ever-increasing utilities and tools has once again increased. And it seems that Microsoft, in every major version upgrade, does roll out a new utility or tool um, in some, um, to some extent or the other, or does make a major upgrade to existing tools. And version 70 is no exception. Now, um, the first new feature, just to focus on for today, is a feature I have posted on previously, Mouse, with, Mouse Without Borders which says is a quick and easy way to move your cursor across multiple devices. Now, um, according to Microsoft uh, from the release notes, um, this new feature, Mouse Without Borders, enables you to interact with other computers from the same keyboard and mouse and share clipboard and files between the machines. So basically the long and short of all this is that it's really like a virtual um, remote access connection to some extent or the other. And uh, it can be used to control up to four different computers, as we can see here. And uh, um, that's with the same keyboard and mouse. So if you are using one mouse, one keyboard, you can control up to four uh, different computers. And I've already added two here. But unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit hard to actually demonstrate because I'm obviously recording on one computer. But nonetheless, I'm sure you will get the general idea. And um, it's very handy, as an example, if you have a PC and a laptop or multiple PCs, you can use them simultaneously with one keyboard, one mouse. So that's Mouse Without Borders. And obviously, you need to toggle the feature on to use it. Um, you get an encryption key, which will have to be used. Um, you can generate that key, and then you connect. You have to enter that PC name, connect to that, and here is the host, the host machine's name. And here are the names of the machines that obviously... I've connected to my other machine and you can have devices in a single row or you can have them in a more of a square look and then yeah we get a whole lot of different behaviors um, which you can go check out if you are using power toys a lot of different options that you can configure and then we get different keyboard shortcuts for the feature which you can obviously change those shortcuts or you can leave those at default so um, new mouse without borders now rolling out which is a quick and easy way to move your cursor across multiple devices using one mouse and one keyboard. Now, the next new feature I've also posted on previously, and it's a new utility called Peak. So if you just head to that, um, it, what it does is it shows a quick preview of files selected in File Explorer when you press a shortcut. And uh, um, if we just show you how to do that, um, obviously the feature must be toggled on. And here's the activation shortcut, which you can edit to any shortcut of your preference. I'm gonna use the default. So as an example, if I head back to my file explorer, what you need to do is you need to click on that image and then you use control and space and there we go. It's basically like a enlarged thumbnail of the actual um, of that actual image um, or that picture that you're looking at. So just to demonstrate one more time, you click on the image in your file explorer, you use control and space and there we go. And you can even open that with photos and you can pin that and so on. So that's uh, the new peak, as mentioned, which is also a brand new utility, which is a quick and easy way to preview files, select a file in File Explorer and press the shortcut to open the file preview as mentioned. So those are the two new utilities rolling out. And then uh, um, just to mention some other quick highlights, um, the registry preview, which was a feature that rolled out in a previous um, update um, there are quality of life improvements that have rolled out to the registry preview. Uh, the Awake utility has also um, uh, received a, a quality of life improvements. And then if we head to the mouse utilities, and I've posted on all of these previously, so just do a search on the channel if you would like some more info. The um, mouse jump, which is a feature that helps you to move the mouse pointer long distances quickly and is especially useful over large monitors. And that's also in, got, received quality of life improvements. And then uh, um, there are general fixes that have rolled out that have been causing um, settings to clear sometimes when upgrading power toys. So that's a general uh, fix that's rolled out. And there's also font icon and corner radius adjustments 
in the UI across different uh, utilities, just putting those in line with the actual user interface um, of the Power Toys utility app. And then over and above that, there are numerous fixes that have rolled out and improvements, too many to get to in this video. And if you would like to get to the release notes, you can just click on that um, if you are using Power Toys, where you can get a more in-depth look at those fixes that have rolled out. But just mentioning that, that um, the two brand new utilities, as mentioned, um, the Mouse Without Borders and that new Peak utility, if you are using the Power Toys app, which is now being bumped up to version 70. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.